this project, we're going to create a skull inside of Vector. We need to outline each layer inside of Vector. We also need to label each part inside of Vector. So the layers that get cut out need to be outlined in red so that the laser cutter knows where to cut those parts out of the material that we're going to use. Each layer also needs to be labeled so that we know where each part goes when we're putting this skull together. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is go over to Teams, find the reference that I gave you, click on the three dots next to it, and download. So let's make sure that we're inside of Vector, V-E-C-T-R dot com. Let's go over to New Artwork, click on the Web tab. We're going to click over here where it says Website Huge. Let's give this a name. Let's just call it Skull and Create. Now we're going to go over to Pages, change Pixels to Points. Let's click on the cloud over here on the bottom left hand side where it says upload image. Let's go over to your downloads folder. Downloads folder, click on the reference that I gave you. Click on open and you're just gonna trace half of this design because the left side is gonna be really similar to the right side. So let's just copy half of this design here. So we could just copy the top half here and the bottom half is just gonna be flipped and rotated. So we can leave opacity at 100% so this is easier for us to see. Click over here on layers and let's double click on that layer call it image and let's lock it and we're going to zoom in on this first part here so control plus and let's go over to our pen tool and i'm going to start tracing some of these smaller parts here so i'm going to click and drag and you want to have some of these points really close to each other because these anchors, these circle parts, are going to start messing up your design. So I could probably redo that first part. I'm going to click and have these points a little bit closer together because these anchors are going to be really close to each other and it might start getting in the way of your design. So I'm just clicking and dragging. We're going to change the color of this to red here pretty soon. So I'm going to go back a little bit because those anchors were getting in the way. If you do make a mistake, you can always hold down control, tap the letter Z, or hit the backspace button on your keyboard. And then you have to go back to the point that you started with in order to close that shape. So this is going to be an outline. This is going to be cut out of the material that we're going to use. So we have to have that first layer selected. Go over to border, make sure it's on. Click on the color, change hex to RGB. And this needs to be red. So let's change that to 255 so that the laser cutter recognizes that this needs to be cut out. So if this looks too similar to your original design and you're having trouble figuring out if you outlined it or not, we can always go back to our image, unlock it, have it selected, right? We can tell it's selected because it's this darker layer. And we can turn opacity down to about 50% and then lock it again so it doesn't move. And we could go back to our design and we could tell that this was something that we already outlined. So let's go over to our layers. And we're gonna name this 62 red. And the reason why it's going to be 62 red is because this is our outline that needs to be cut out, but this also has to be raster. But we also need to label these in blue so we could tell these different parts from each other when we're assembling this skull. So that's why this is layer 62 red. We're going to make a 62 blue here in a second so we can lock this because it's probably going to get in our way. So let's grab the pen tool and we're going to outline this blue part so it's not going to stay red. I'm going to change it to blue and it needs to be a certain blue so that the laser cutter knows that it needs to etch this into our design. So this isn't going to be a closed line. I want to end this line. So I'm going to hit the escape button on my keyboard. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go over to our border window here on the right hand side. Click on the color red, change hex to RGB and we're going to change the red back to zero. This second one is green. This last one's blue. So that means that this blue needs to be 255. And this is the certain 
glue that the laser cutter needs to etch into the material that we're going to use. So you could do the same thing for the six and the two. You don't need to use the pen tool. You could grab the text tool for that part there. And let's zoom out. So I'm going to hold control minus to zoom out. So let's pretend that we have this whole top row outlined and labeled with the numbers. We're going to go to the top right where it says export. You're going to leave it as an SVG. Click on download. And that SVG is going to be the file that you attach in Teams and that you're going to send to me so that I can laser cut it for you. So if you have any questions about which colors some of these outlines need to be so that the laser cutter knows whether to cut it or to raster it, go ahead and let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And feel free to watch any of the other related videos.